Welcome to part 6 of my virtual reality development for absolute beginners series. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel and something doesn't work from this video, make sure you start from the first video from my playlist and then follow along. The link to the playlist can be found below. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to play your sample virtual reality game in your virtual reality headset without using a special link cable. So in order to do that, what you need to do is go to the file tab and then go to build settings, okay? By default, the platform that's selected is Windows. But if you want to play the game in your virtual reality headset without using a special link cable, then you will have to switch your platform to the Android platform because the MetaQuest virtual reality headset uses Android OS. Therefore, you can click the Android and then you can click switch platform and then simply wait for the switching to happen. Just wait until this warning message also completes. Now, how do you know how long that will take? Well, look to the right, right bottom corner and as you can see, this tab is still incomplete. And then once that is done, click the build button. This will open up the location where your Unity project is, has been installed. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just simply going to type in VR test one and then save and then click save again. Now what Unity is doing is that it is exporting your game in the form of an APK file, an Android package file, which can be copied into your headset and then played in your headset but the thing is you cannot simply copy and paste into your headset that will not work you will have to install it into your headset now there are many softwares that does it here's one software that many people use let me show you so uh, this software is called SideQuest. so uh, click you can click the download button and then you can click the advanced installer why because only the advanced in installer enables you to install the APK and the OBB files to your headset. So you can download the file. I already have it downloaded over here. So I'm going to click this and install it. Now you'll have to go to the top and open setup instructions and then follow along these instructions. They're pretty good. They have video and uh, text that you can follow along. You'll have to go to the meta website and then sign up a developer account and then you will have the next step would be to go to your oculus app in your phone or your smartphone and then enable the developer mode and then after once that's done you will have to connect your headset using any normal usb cable okay so i have a usb a to usb c cable over here so then i'm going to connect it to my virtual reality headset. Okay, it's connected, but still the my my device is not detected. Huh, let's see. Fits it for me. So how do I fix it? Mm, try a different USB cable or make sure the quest is powered on, sometimes rebooting the quest, some rebooting a computer. This is why guys just get the special link cable. It will save you from all this trouble. Okay, it says try a different USB cable. You know what, let me do that. The previous cable that I use, it's it's a cheap cable that I use to charge my microphone. This time I'm going to use the cable that I use to charge my smartphone, which is also a USB A to USB C cable. Ah, okay, that works. All right, let me close this. Let me go back home and then go to the top to this icon it says you can install apk file from folder on your computer using this all right once your game has been exported as an apk file a window will automatically pop up showing where your apk file is located which you can know by looking over here what you can do you can just click here copy and then paste it over here and then scroll down and then click the apk then click open and then go back to the SideQuest app. And as you can see, it's showing that it's installing your APK. Just wait. And there you go. All tasks completed. Disconnect the cable from your MetaQuest headset. And then wear your headset and play the game inside your headset. All right. So make sure you're in pass-through mode, which can be enabled by clicking this button. 
and then go to the library icon over here <laughs> click it open it and then go to the all category and then scroll all the way down to unknown sources this is where your apk file that you exported will be here as you can see vryt that's our project name so now if you click this it will load your sample game and here we are boom as you can see you can finally play your sample game from the vr template that you downloaded let me take the other controller now this template if you look at the controller it will show all the controls that you can use and even if you press the grab button for example it also animates you clicking it that's so cool right now what i'm going to do i'm going to use the left hand joystick button to move around the scene and then i'm going to use the right controller's joystick to turn around like that as you can see and there you go you have uh, ui panels you can use this button to click the continue button and as you can see it also lists all the items available in the hierarchy that you can use as you can see everything is set up already the left hand right hand the gaze the ray the poke everything is set already you don't have to you don't have to set all of this one by one everything is already ready now you can grab this by holding it you can move it around you can all um, as you can see you can click the select button to move this click the button toggle it it's really cool let, let me try to go and grab a few objects and there you go Whee! <laughs> you can uh, spin this around you can move this around it's really cool going back to unity we can close this tab as well now as you can see building the game and exporting the game took almost 15 minutes now only for the first time it will take a long time to build the apk file every subsequent times it will take lesser time but still it won't be as quick as how it will be when you're using the special link cable and if you have the special link cable you can debug your any issues that you are facing on the game that you developed during gameplay that's why i highly recommend you get the link table either ways i still wanted to show you guys that there is an also the second option where you can play your games in your virtual reality headset without getting the special link cable now if you have a meta quest virtual reality headset and you got the special link cable how can you play the sample game on it let me show you so the first thing you need to do is Click here for the next part in this series.